Okay, I'm going to say this for those of you in the back. I'm going to scream it at the top of my lung. I had cancer. I had cancer. Four times for 32 years. I had my tongue replaced. It had a tattoo on my arm where they took the skin and it was transplanted onto my tongue. Did you hear that? That is insane. Four times have cancer, and the fact that she has a tattoo, I don't know if she has her arm, sorry, but the fact that she had to have a tongue graft, and the tattoo on her arm is now on her tongue. That is insane. And I know like cancer is the most disgusting, evilest thing ever, but I didn't even know you could get tongue cancer. What, what woman? Jesus Christ, that is so scary. Oh yeah, it was on her arm. Jesus. So do you reckon they just asked her like, okay, but I didn't even think that could be possible because of, of tattoos and ink and this like, is, that's not really fresh skin or clean skin, is it? Obviously I'm probably the chest and most stupidest things ever, but I didn't even know it was possible to get a skin graft when you have tattoos already on the arm. Or like a skin graft of where the tattoo is. Jesus. Oh my God. I just can't like, Imagine being in that situation, being told you have cancer, which is obviously the most horrific thing ever. It's just horrible to be told that nasty word. To then be told that actually it's tongue cancer, and you're like, oh my god. And then to be told, we're going to have to take a graft from your arm, where your tattoo is. Which I think is so cool in the sense of like, we're after, it's not cool having it, but like cool in the sense of like, you know, people go, oh my god, having a tattoo on your tongue, like, did that not hurt? And you go, actually, I'm a survivor of cancer. I beat cancer, sorry. and. It was actually a skin graft from my arm. Honestly, that's just insane.